We're here with Dennis Dale from the Gopher Men's Swimming and Diving Program, and the uh, Gophers head down to the Triple Duels this weekend at Purdue. Coach, uh, can you tell a little bit about tell us a little bit about this meet and kind of how it started? Well, this meet has been going on since I was an athlete, which means for a really long time. Uh, as an athlete, we we rotated the meet from Minnesota to Wisconsin to Purdue, and it's been going on. Uh, it was going on bef before I was an athlete, which was. 50 years ago, and it's been going on ever since. It's a, a meet with a lot of tradition, and uh, uh, it usually makes for a pretty exciting competition. Now, you're a little bit more than a month away from Big Tens. Does this meet, even though obviously not all the Big Ten teams are there, gives you another little speak, uh, sneak preview at a team like Purdue? Well, you know, I think it maybe gives us a better sneak preview of us. Uh, this is really uh, a, a chance, one of the chances that our athletes can kind of let us know where they stand. Uh, we have really two more meets before we finalize our Big Ten travel squad. So uh, we take all this input and, and make a, a decision. So that it, it, it gives us a better opportunity to see where we are with our athletes. That's probably the most important thing. And it, it gives us a, a, a chance to see uh, what changes Wisconsin and Purdue have made to their team, where they've gotten some new personnel. Uh, over the Christmas break or not, uh, but uh, uh, it, it's more of a chance to, to race and see where we stand. And uh, you know, we have some athletes who have begun to taper a little bit. We have other athletes who are still training hard. So it uh, it gives us a chance to see if what we're planning is working out so far. Now, on your team, you've obviously got you know a lot of the the top guys that everybody knows: the Michael Richards, the Kurt Carlsons. Are there a few guys now that are starting to come into their own this season? Well, I, I think that uh, that you know that that Kurt and Michael and Kevin Basehart are probably the best known athletes on our team. But we have some athletes who are who people are are noticing a little more. We have a, our freshman Kyler Von Swall is uh, is certainly doing a good job, and people are are taking notice uh, of his performances. Uh, we have Ivan uh, Gutesha, who was a Big Ten finalist last year in both 100 and 200 breast. That people are recognizing that he's not going to go away, that he's going to be even better this year than he was last year. Uh, and so uh, they're, they're noticing those kind of things. I think that uh, it, uh, uh, in addition, it gives us a chance for our divers to stack up with Purdue's divers and Wisconsin divers. Wisconsin diver beat us earlier in the year, and we're hopeful that that won't happen this time. And, and we can see that David Badaya, the NCAA champion, is probably going to win uh, the diving events this weekend. But they have two other excellent divers who have been finalists at Big Tens, and we'd like to see how our divers uh, match up against those guys. Uh, but uh, on our team, we, uh, you know, we're, we're looking at somebody like Josh Hall, who has has not been a Big Ten scorer before, uh, and he's he's been stepping up kind of weekend after weekend, and this will give him one more chance to to kind of set things uh, uh, straight as we get ready for for Big Tens. But uh, uh, there's no surprises. For us, I think there's some, some of our athletes who may be surprising their opponents. Very good. Good luck this weekend. Thank you.